everybody. We're a little bit early. No, that's weird. Right on okay, there. we need to adjust that clock because that clock still says two minutes till. Anyway, welcome to Cal's Creations Live on Friday night. I want to welcome you to my kitchen where we are going to make a lighthouse grapevine wreath, which is pretty amazing. Um, I had three different design choices, so I kind of threw a couple ideas out there and surveyed some people and said, which one do you like? Um, so we're going to go with grapevine, floral, lighthouse seashells, and all the, the stuff that goes with it. So it should go pretty quick. I spent the last 40 minutes, I kid you not, taking this grapevine because it was hideous looking. It had pine needles in it. It had leaves in it. It had all kinds of debris. Probably could have taken it outside with a blower and blown all the debris out of it and then just trim everything up. So the trimming part, for the most part, is done. Um, I did front, back, sides because it had stuff hanging everywhere. But sometimes that's all you can get, right, when you go to the craft store. But then you come back and you pull all the debris out and you make it look pretty cool. So, um, anyone there? As he's typing. Yeah, uh, Gail is on. Hi, Gail. Eva, Simone, a couple other gals. Hi, ladies. I'm still waiting for some of the comments to pop up. To pop up. It's got that delay going. So, um, this is going to be super, super fun. Um, I'm trying to think of where did I buy all my stuff. I think it all came local from Hobby Lobby, except for the lighthouse. The lighthouse came from Shinoda Design Center, which is out here in Southern California. It's a wholesaler. So um, I've had an idea to do a lighthouse wreath for a while, and I didn't want to go way elaborate, because if I was to hollow out the inside and add lights to it, um, it would push the price point way up higher than where I would feel comfortable selling it. But um, that might be something that we do in a later life. So um, the lighthouse, this one here is, they call it 14.75 inches, but when you, I measured it, it's 15 inches. So I'm using an 18 inch grapevine. And we're gonna actually, that's the first thing we're gonna do is secure the lighthouse inside our grapevine. Then we're gonna come in and lay in our base of greenery and start adding our floral embellish it with some seashells, starfish, sand dollars. I have to look at them to make sure I'm getting them correctly. And then um, top it all off with a simple um, but rustic looking bow. So, are you all caught up? I am caught up. <clears throat> but you're still not seeing comments? I'm starting to, yeah. He did the Facebook update. Have you guys noticed that Facebook did some huge update now and got rid of our little bar at the top? So now, if you want to go looking for something, you have to hit the magnifying glass, then you get the search bar, and then you can search. So thank you, Facebook, for just creating one additional step for all of us like on to your, find things. Like on your phone when I'm actually doing the recording on? Mm -hmm. I can see comments from like Ruth. Mm -hmm. Uh, from Newfoundland. She said, hi, Ruth from Newfoundland. And you're not seeing it and on the phone? I'm not seeing it on mine. No, on the comments. Okay. Well, and there's uh, Billy saying, hi, everyone. I haven't. It's probably going to pop through here in a little bit. All right. So thank you again for joining me on Friday Night Live. Um, we're going to go ahead and attach the lighthouse. So the first thing that I did was measured my lighthouse, and then I've already added my... Um, what you want to call it? Pipe cleaner to the top. So measuring this, looking at where it's going to sit. Um, here's the funky thing. This is what I was telling Steve. They were nice enough to put the windows right here. Nice enough to put the stencil right here. But then they added the anchor right where they've ended the jute rope. So you kind of don't want to see that, but then you kind of want to see the anchor. So you kind of have to center it around the number eight and then hope that people are gonna look at the anchor off to the side, as well as look at all the windows off to the other side. So that's a challenge you have working with it. So what I did, or what Steve was nice enough to do for me, is when I laid it out, I had everything all laid out beforehand, what I was gonna do, and just kind of laid all of my greenery out to kind of see if I liked the colors. Um, before, we go live that way in case I need something additional 
I have three craft stores I can run to really quick and pick that up if I need to. But knowing that this has to sit and it's got a pretty big base, it's a four inch round base. So it's actually going to kind of, the butt end of my base is gonna kind of sit in there. We're gonna attach two pipe cleaners to the bottom with a staple. And then what Steve did is right where this is going to fasten to the top, we could have taken a pipe cleaner and ran it along here, making sure that it was white and that would have been fine. But um, he actually took a staple gun, stapled it in here so that we can attach it to the top and then you don't have to worry about ruining the overall look of the lamp uh, lighthouse. And then what we're gonna do is flip this over to the bottom and do the same thing. The zero is actually our center point for the lighthouse where it's going to sit. So what I'm going to do is I have, oh, there it is, oh, staple gun. So I'm going to put this a little closer to the inside because I think I have a little bit of a lip that actually comes out. Let me look. Yeah, I do. And the last thing I want to do is kind of see um, my pipe cleaner. So I'm actually just kind of measuring that. So this is where I need it to go. And then I'm going to take my staple gun and I'm just going to pop a staple in there. And if you want to make it overly secure, which is what I did at the top, oops, is you can take a little dab of glue onto your pipe cleaner and staples, but I'm pretty confident. I haven't had any pull out, but sometimes you just never know. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I am going to find center and then I'm going to go right behind here and add another staple. Just like this. And then we'll add a little dab of glue to that as well. Good. And we are on low. Just wanted to double check that. Okay, so now we have our pipe cleaners and our staplers all ready. So we are going to attach the lantern into our grapevine. You mean the lighthouse? What did I say, lantern? Lantern. <laughs> you know what's funny is in my head, I keep thinking lantern because it's like lantern swag. No, this is lighthouse swag now. Yeah, so, so I think the top of this light, lighthouse will go a little bit more to the right. right. What are you talking about? It'll just be, yeah, a little bit further to the right. It's not going to go way over here. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Right about there. Yeah. It goes right there. I was like, <laughs> I know, we had, we were like, <clears throat> where do we put it? How do we, like, fasten that on there? Because um, you kind of want to have, um, this is kind of a little bit of an oval. So I'm actually going to leave my pipe cleaners in and then out the back because I don't want them to come out the bottom. Hi, Gail's just joining. Uh, there was a comment just a second ago and it still didn't pop up on Facebook, but she asked where you got the lighthouse from. Shinoda. Shinoda. Shinoda Design Center. But you can find them on oh, yeah, you Craft Outlet. Reef Shop. Reef Shop. Uh, you can probably find them on Etsy. You know, if somebody's making them. From scratch. This one's a little big. This one's 16 inches, I think, right? 15. 15? Yeah. It's actually 14.75 according to Shinoda's website. <laughs> so, and you can order it from Shinoda, but you have to be a wholesaler, which means you have to have a wholesale license in order to order stuff from there. So, they are just a wholesale company. So, I am weaving all this behind and then I'm going to secure it and then I don't cut my pipe cleaners off until the very very end just in case I need to make some last minute adjustments so thankfully this one's going to go right through 
and I'm trying to get it to bite onto this really big piece of wood on the back. And this is why you look so hard for your um, the right type of grapevine. So you want it to not be so thick, but still have enough wood around it if you're going to anchor something like this in. So as you can see, we have anchored it here, anchored it at the bottom. That'll all get cleaned up later because you always want to make sure, you know, if you have to make any adjustments, I haven't clipped my pipe cleaners and gotten those to sit anywhere funky. So that should be right about where it needs to be. So what do you guys think so far? This is the way it's going to be. Yep. Cool? Okay. This is killing me, so I'm going to actually <clears throat> tuck that so I don't see it for now because it's bugging me. Okay. Well, Tiffany says, um, how much does that lighthouse weigh? Probably about, think, about three pounds, four pounds. No, it's actually not. Mm -hmm. It's actually hollow. So I think the whole thing, even right maybe now, two pounds. Yeah, it's maybe like three and a half pounds. So not overly heavy. So you don't have to worry about it being something too heavy on the door um, that it's not going to hold up really well. And then so. she says um, they have some amazing lighthouses and shark heads at their local huge souvenir joint. She can, yes. hook, she can hook you up. Oh, awesome. That's a perfect place to go get lighthouses. If you live by the coast, or have access to a coastal type shop, like for us going to our local beach and hitting up any one of the beach shops, we would easily be able to find one there if we were like in a pinch. But we're good to go on this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with two different, actually, I'm gonna start with this first. So let me show you what it looks like when you buy it at Hobby Lobby. I actually found this, it was sitting on the counter when I was walking through to grab some additional greenery. So I don't know what they call it. More than likely in Hobby Lobby's terms, it'll be a green bush. So it does come with 19 of these individual little picks. So for $13.99, it's a really good deal, especially if you go next week when floral is half off, then this is only what, seven, about seven bucks. Mm -hmm. Or you can use your 40% like I did today and then you just get 40% off. So we're gonna break this down and use four <clears throat> pieces of this, which I have already cut off. Let me make sure I have them all. There's two. Uh, What's wrong, Dan? It's just frustrating because I can't see all the, <laughs> the, comments. the comments. And gals, I apologize if I don't catch your comment or question because like I said, it's not really popping up on. On your thing. I'm seeing a few, yeah. Like somebody just said Amazon has a really great collection. Lighthouse? Lighthouse, yeah. Okay, good. Yep. So what I am looking at doing, and it's funny because I look at this and it almost looks pine, which is awesome because you could use it in a Christmas wreath, but I want, because it kind of droops, this doesn't have any wire in it. How I'm going to lay and wire this in is it's just going to lay on top of itself. It's just gonna create a really nice base. And then I want it to, not that, show you how I'm doing this. It's going to bring you back a little bit more. And then this piece goes here. So I've used four pieces and what I want it to do is, and I'm gonna, because it hasn't been fastened yet, so I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna try to hold this. I want the bottom pieces to hang off but not all of it, just the very feathered edges. So now what I will do, so we'll take these, I have them like layered one on top of the other. So I'm going to take the first one with some floral wire and I'm just going to wire this in directly to just like, this is again where you want some openness to your grapevine. So I'm just going to take it and twist it, just so it won't come off. You could glue it. You could take a glue gun, I guess, and go around and glue it, but I just figure it's quicker to take the floral wire and do it this way. Mm 
Uh, I do see Simone's comment says, what is the minimum wholesale order for Shinoda? Uh, I don't think they don't, have a minimum. I don't think there is. Yeah, you can't order online. You just have to go in. You can order online. Oh, you can? Yeah. yeah. They just don't have free shipping like some of the other wholesale vendors do. Okay. So, yes, you can. I just <clears> don't know what their shipping costs are. Like for us, we just walk in to the store. Uh, yeah. Sandra asked, what's the SKU number? For the lighthouse do you have that i have it in my office because i had to spend a great and i want to double check the SKU number because they had four stickers i kid you not on the bottom of this lighthouse which was a pain to try to take it off oops i poked myself with the wire um which was a pain to get off so that um you know you don't want sticky stuff hanging off the bottom of your lighthouse. It literally was coated with stickers, so it had, I think Shinoda got it from somebody else, so they had their sticker on top of that sticker, plus all the warning stickers from anything you purchase in California type of deal. So let me go ahead and lay this in so that this will cascade out. This way I can make sure that I'm just doing it in one fail swoop. And then it'll go much quicker. Because once we get the green base down, then we can just start coming in and laying our floral in. What are you looking for? Are you trying to I was find looking for the skew? The skew? Yeah, okay. I have to double check because I don't even know if that's the legit skew number. I might have to call them and ask because it doesn't look like your typical item number. Mm -hmm. so, let me but there's a lot of other beautiful lighthouses out there, so you guys should make it your own. <sighs> Let's see. Let me... I'm going to add another one right here. And just wire all this together. I don't have to really worry about, well, what about your floral wire? Are you going to see your floral wire? No, because I'm going to cover it with floral and everything else. So this is just here to hold all this on. And then uh, Tiffany said, I'm glad you're doing a lighthouse. I plan on doing some regional wreaths with our lighthouse and state flower, the magnolia. I wanted Ooh. to see one mounted. I get all my shells at Shark Heads too, and they have the best unique signs as well. Awesome. That's that same Tiffany. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I think I only pulled four off of there. I think I'm okay with that. I'm gonna take some of these. I wanna make sure that all my ends are tucked in. Cause you have like the little ends that are sticking up after I've secured the hanging pieces where I need them to hang. So, this is what it looks like right now. So we have a little bit of that hanging stuff so it's kind of creating a soft base. It's softening up all that wood. Mm -hmm. And then now we are going to come in. You guys saw me use this on our other wreath. What did we use this on? Was it another beach wreath? The mermaid, the mermaid, mermaid wreath. wreath. Yeah. yeah, so Hobby Lobby, again, sells this. It has seven picks. Yes, seven different picks. So I've already taken one of these and pluck it all down, so you don't have to watch me do that. And these are actually going to fan up. Gals, please not try not to give me any sad or mad faces, because there's a lot of times I can't read your comments right now. I apologize, but it's just not showing up. It's the delay. The Facebook delay. <clears throat> so if you've ever done a live, there's like a 20 to 30 second delay, so just have patience. People that are in my private group, if you're catching their questions before Steve gets them and you know the answer, feel free to go ahead and jump in and go ahead and answer those questions for them. So this is where our bow is going to go. So I'm kind of creating, I want these to fan out. Again, these, they have a little bit of a wire, but only up to about that far. These do not. They're all just like plastic hanging things. That's a highly technical wreath maker term, hanging mm -hmm. things. But yeah, I did have one more. So this one is actually going to look at it here. 
Okay, so I will show you before I glue them in place. This is what this is looking like. Trust me, it's gonna look amazing. It's really gonna look amazing. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take these hanging things, highly technical term, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my glue skillet right here. Can't put it on the cutting mat because it will warp your mat because of the heat. So I'm just gonna take a big old dollop of Gorilla Glue that have melted. Beer. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna stick this in the side. Do the same thing here. Okay, that one didn't dollop as well as it should have. There we go. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna tuck this guy off to the side. Anytime you want to stop. Seriously, anytime. Okay. Oh, uh, Sandra asked um, SKU number for the greenery. Uh, it'll be on the materials list as soon as I'm done. I promise I'll get it out there to you guys right away. So, um, this is what we have so far. Hmm. So now I'm going to come in and add. So I'm not using this one. I just have extras. It's always good to have extras. Next, I'm gonna come in. And I don't know what you call it. It just looks like, like a fuzzy fern. It's like a prickly fern. So again, from Hobby Lobby, go next week to get your florals when they're all on sale. Don't be like me. And I'm like, oh, I need one more of those. I gotta go. So um, this has six different picks. You will only need, let me see how many I cut out. One, two, I think I used the whole one. Yes, I did. So now we're gonna kind of take this. I've broken it all down into little knit pieces and we're just gonna soften some of these edges. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna kind of soften these ends so that it's not so straight up and down. So I'm gonna use two on top and the rest on the bottom. So I want these. I'm all about different textures. So always lay your green base down first. And then we're going to come in here and do the same thing on the bottom. We're going to add these four different places. Hi everybody just join in just to let you know like I said <clears throat> for whatever reason Facebook is not showing me all the comments so you know if I don't answer your question it's just because I can't see it but if somebody else can answer the question help them out because that's what we do it's all about community right so don't want to add and it never figures thank you Hobby Lobby for your dedication to put price tags where they don't need to be so that we can't get them off. So all I'm doing is gluing these to the edges and the sides and I'll show you what we've done. So, there you go babe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've just kind of added some of that funky fern to the side and to the side here. So now we're going to come in that's all the greenery, believe it or not. The rest of the greenery is going to come from the florals. So, let me get rid. I'm going to move these way off. So now, the floral that I picked for this is twofold. Um, one is... Excuse me. They're all connecting. Um, a beige delphinium. And then the other, because it matches the lighthouse so well, is going to be dogwood. So, um, while I'm actually putting this in, I think I wanted this one here. I did. So this is actually going to go, I'm going to cut some of this off because I certainly don't need a stem that big. This is actually going to go on top. So this is going to be right here. And because I want my florals to face the front, 
sometimes you've got to help the florals a little bit. Damn. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of glue so that they stay where I need them to be, which is facing front, don't flop to the side. So this delphinium is actually going to sit here a little bit taller. So I'm going to go ahead and add my glue to the bottom. And this is going to the top. So right in here. And because you guys know I'm a big scholar on the language of flowers, does anyone know what delphinium stands for? So if you were to give somebody delphinium in a bouquet, what in a sense are you saying? Because there's a lot of people who really love to communicate their affection through the language of flowers. So now all you people are Googling, what does delphinium mean? How the heck do you spell delphinium? <laughs> that was my first thing. I was like, oh Lord, how am I <clears> going <throat> to spell that? So I just see a comment. Cindy said, love the soft look of that greenery. Uh, Whoever means it's silly me, I was looking for you on YouTube. Oh. We'll post this later tonight, hopefully. It definitely will go to YouTube. And then Sandra said, pretty and loving the greenery. So I Gail replied to Sandra saying, if you're in the private group, Kat will provide a material list. Absolutely. Within the next day or so. Yep. Yeah. I try. Lord knows I try. Thank you, Gail. Yep. Okay. So we're making sure our floral stays to the front. I don't know why. It's wanting to kind of go towards the back. So this is our delphinium. So anybody out there with what does it mean? Mm, not yet. Because it kind of goes in with this theme. So what I'm going to slowly start teaching you over time is the language of flowers. It'll probably change how you go about giving flowers to people now because you're going to research what they mean. I'm sorry about that, Kathy. What's that? She says she keeps getting kicked out every time she comes in, so she'll just have to watch the replay. I love Facebook lately. Yes, I know it's <clears throat> gotta love it. Teresa, I saw that comment. It said blue is dignity, but I think you meant what the delphinium definition is. Yes, What's what is? Meaning? Yeah, if you were to give this, there's some meaning to every single flower you give. Um, just like there is um, one to every single color floral you give. So again, I'm using the width of my hand to measure the width of my bow. So I'm gonna come in here with this one, doing the same thing. I want the, the blooms to stay to the top. See, and it gives it time for all this to set up as well. Okay. Cheryl said peace and rest. Okay. Is that going with the color or is it going with the flower? The flower. Because that, that was the one thing is, is I looked everything up before we went live. And I'm like, oh, we need to uh, come up with what does that mean? Okay. These actually go down here. And I'm just tucking them in have these for another reason so I think we're going to actually add more so let me show you and then I'll attach that what it looks like thus far so it's slowly coming together mm -hmm. delphiniums actually mean lightness and I wrote it down. lightness and levity so it's kind of like not so serious which is perfect for a lighthouse wreath is we don't want it to be too serious. We want it to be soft and relaxing and soothing. Okay, now we're gonna come in with the blue dogwood. So again, there is meaning behind the florals. On the dogwood, it's $1.99 at Hobby Lobby and you get four picks. So what I've done is I've actually broken down the picks. This is what they look like. So you get four of them when you purchase these. So if you wait till next week, they're a dollar. Remember I'm zoomed in, so. Oh, sorry. Okay. 
So yeah, these are a dollar. They're right now they're two, but still not bad. So we are going to take. So will mean was correct as far as the meaning of the dolphin. It's the Greek meaning, but what she meant was. What is the flower meaning? There's a meaning for the flowers. It does. It is Greek for dolphin. That's where they got dolphinium from. But there actually is a meaning behind it. And, and Cheryl was close. She said peace and rest, which is yes. kind of light. Light and levity. Yeah. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're adding quite a bit of the dogwood. And you might be surprised. I'm like looking at the... What I'm looking at is like, do I like the way the flowers are laying? Do they need to be glued down in order to pop the way I want them to? And these are all wired right to the tip. So we can just glue them in, which is what I'm gonna start doing. This is gluing them in where I want them to go. And this one's going to go right there. So we're going to go heavy with the blue on the bottom. It's kind of contradictory. You would think, well, why aren't you going to put some on the top? Nope. Not putting any on top. It's all going on the bottom. So Robin, um, we have a camera, a live camera called Mevo. And we can keep it stationary, but I can actually zoom in in any area of where the screen shows. So I can I can move it around to the side. What's the question? To the side. Okay. She asked me how do I zoom in and out on a live. Oh. Yeah, I would be able to do it. That's the difference between Amiibo is your iPhone basically becomes a remote control for you. Yep. Our phone is the remote or the control for it. So I'm just taking these and layering them a little at a time, just moving my way towards the front. Just like this. Got a little glue. This, believe it or not, was a Mother's Day present last year. Right? <laughs> the that, Mother's Day present that turned out to that be... That never came. What was it? Power bars? Yeah. Gatorade power bars. That's what they sent us instead yep. of, a, of a camera. So we are just taking these and really layering it in thick. A wide variety of different ways. So I saw somebody competed why no blue on top. Just give her Trust some time. Me. Trust me. She's still adding florals in. Damn, yeah. it's going to look good. Some people have seen some sneak peeks because I was sitting here playing with it earlier today, just laying everything down. Yeah, it was a Mother's Day nightmare. <laughs> it really was, right? A true Mother's Day nightmare. This is why I love grapevines is because they kind of create their own gorgeous base. Okay, so let me show you what we've done so far because you guys are looking at everything upside down. Is that right? Uh, yeah. They can see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, now those are our main flowers. So whenever you're dealing with floral, you put in your greenery, you lay down your nice base just like we create all of our wreaths with a base. And then we come in with focal flowers. So you put in your main ones and then you come in after that and you add some filler flowers. So our filler flowers are going to be Queen Anne's Lace, which comes in a big, huge bundle. And I don't know, it's like $7.99 and you get, oh, I can count these. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get 10 little picks off of a $7.99 mm -hmm. pick. And it comes in yellow, purple, pink, pink and orange, and, I think. No, white, yellow, and blue. purple, no blue, and a lavender. Yes. Okay. Anyway, um, so we're using Queen Anne's Lace to soften some of that up. And, okay, so the dogwood, we never came up with a symbol for this. 
Um, dogwood, believe it or not, according to whomever wrote the article, is really strongly, strongly symbolizes Christianity. They were saying it's the, the type of wood used to make the cross that the Romans used because dogwood was considered very hardy. So it's a hardiness that represents the perfect type of wood, obviously, to um, crucify Christ on. So I like the fact that it kind of has a symbolic Christianity tie to it. Uh, Libby, yes, the Queen Anne is from Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. All of the florals came from Hobby Lobby. I just literally went over there today. And I saw I saw a comment on the last second of we attached the lighthouse via staple gun on the back side. We staple gunned to the back of the top and the bottom, and then we tied she tied them in with uh, the um, pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. Yeah. Okay. So now our other floral these little baby blue flowers. And it was funny because for the longest time, we had used these in a couple wreaths, like spring wreaths, but nobody figured out what they were. Today, when Hobby Lobby had revamped their flowers, they have labels on the bottoms of all the containers flowers are in, as long as they're in the right container. So these little blue ones are called forget-me-nots. So we are going to be adding some blue forget-me-nots to our, um, what should I call it? Wreath and pricing ones. I'm trying to look at how do they come. They are $2.99 and you get one, two, there's like four major picks in this if you wanted to, to pull it and pull them apart. So we're actually going to take these and we are going to still add them to the bottom. So we're going to use these to kind of come in and pop in little ways the blue. What are you looking for? Uh, it said there's motion from door, so like a shadow. Oh, it's the wind. Yeah. Thank you guys just joining. Pretty good wind right now. Facebook so, is really messing up. Why? You still? I cannot see. A, I can only see probably a quarter of the comments that are coming in. Wow. I'm having to go out and then go back in to be able to see them. Gotta love it. So we're still coming in. And a lot of times what I'll do is take a lot of the blooms and I'll wrap them around the little filler flowers. We have one more. See, still no blue. Just blue to the top. I want these to kind of fan outward a little bit. Nice little glue thread. Poor babe. I feel for you. You're doing a great job considering all the I'm, issues I'm, you have. I'm missing most of the comments though. So. I do see a comment that um, Simone said I purchased Forget Me Nots in blue and pink last week. Oh, very good. Awesome. Hi, Julie. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sheila. Um, and then Teresa replied to Deborah's question about um, she stapled the pipe cleaners and hot glue on the top, on the back, and then attached with pipe cleaners. So thank you, Teresa. Yep. Okay. This one's not, anytime your floral's not laying where you want, sometimes it just needs to be helped permanently into place by some floral wire. So that's exactly what I'm doing here, is I want these forget-me-nots to kind of fan a little further out than they want to. And because there's no wire at the very end in the actual stem, I need to help them. And the last thing you want is for someone to get stabbed. Okay, next. Okay, we're going to add florals to the top. So this is what it looks like to all of you people looking. Let me take the glue out. This is where we're going. Looking good so far? Yep. Okay. 
So now we're going to add this. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's called. It's all plastic, greenery. It's very thin. It's kind of expensive. And you only get one, two, three, if you want to call that one a pick. I don't really, don't really even call that one. I think there's four. And these ones run $5.99. So it's just like this green that has a little white tip to them. Mm -hmm. So I had one left over from something that we had done before. So I'm gonna look and see. Oh, what thank you for the tip. Somebody just tipped uh, me off that, um, I guess due to the last Facebook update. Uh huh. I guess it's an Apple issue that I might have to uninstall the Facebook app and reinstall it. Ooh, well that's interesting because I think when I did my Facebook Live, I actually was reading my comments off my laptop. Hmm. So if you want to grab my laptop, it's on. You can just go ahead and log in and bring the laptop out. So now I'm just taking this. Facebook just stopped screwing with stuff. Well, <laughs> you know, right, it is, it's the way it is. So I'm taking these and bringing this up as my filler flower to soften the delphinium a little bit. So I'm kind of just tucking these in into my grapevine. Just adding some little pieces to the top. People are probably going, why did she put blue at the top? Not done yet. Mm. I'm gonna tell you this to get you put you out of your suspense. There's no blue going on the top. <laughs> the blue's all staying at the bottom. It's kind of like there's pieces of beige at the bottom, but it's mainly up at the top. So now I'm gonna take some of these. Thank you, Janet. I did see that comment. What's that? She's all, I agree with you, Steve. Stop messing <laughs> with stuff. Just stop messing with stuff. Right? Stop messing with what works. So I'm going to do this and bring some of the white down. I like the little twiggy stuff. I like that it's all super soft. Wow, this one. Okay, I was going to say, that's a little big. Don't quite need that much. You know what's funny, Steve, is I bought enough, because I know that you liked this look, I actually bought enough that if you really wanted it, you could do it for our, our beach bedroom. I bought enough to do, to add it. Sandra said I agree, Steve, too. Robin said, so excited going camping again tomorrow. Awesome, Robin, have a great time. Yeah. I love, well, God, have, we haven't gone camping, huh? No, we haven't gone camping. We're too busy working. You're too busy traveling. So that, see, was, that was Teresa who made that comment about the Apple phone. Oh, okay. I wanted to double check that. Julie said, I love the colors on the wreath on the door. If you already showed it, I'll watch the replay. Oh, I haven't shown it. So here's what it looks like so far. Just adding a little bit of that. It's kind of like, it's just a white tipped sprig. I like the difference of the colors that you don't have blue on the side. Yes. Trust me, I have a plan. Okay, let's see, I want this one. So I take off those ones that are just on the side that I was like, really can't count you as a pick. I'm just going to add some more of that. Keep throwing all my, my pieces back there. What am I adding? Queen Anne's lace. Sometimes you don't need it to have all the greenery, especially if you're going with a different look on your greenery like I was doing here. So I'm going to look at adding this. Sometimes you just need it kind of come in. Let's see. Hi Deborah, how y'all doing? Like, don't worry about it. 
So yes, I should just go with the good. The guy just says, stick it in the glue pot and figure it out afterwards. Hi, Bobby. She said, are you going to add ribbon to this? Yes. Actually, all I'm doing is adding a bow to it. So it's going to be very simple. Okay, go. Remelt away. There we go. Wilhelmine said, is there a method to your madness, cat? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what are you doing? Like, do you have in a good way? something in mind when you're sitting here? Yeah, she has a design in mind. Kind of. One truly never knows until you sit here and start taking it and gluing it and adding pieces to it. You generally don't really know. Oh, sorry, Sharon. What's wrong? She says, still watching, but no sound. Go out and it. go back in. I notice that too. Sometimes if I'm doing something like I'll move the comments on a live so that I could look at something else or um, when I come back, the video is there but no sound. So I have to go out and then come back in and most of the time I can pick right back up where I left off. Like it doesn't make me like rewind to where I was. Okay, bending my wire, I think these are going to go in here, yes, and I'm going to wait to put my bow in. Okay, so let me add my bow so that I can add some more filler flowers and then we can embellish. So the bow is simple, so the bow is just going to be, pull my glue off so it can remelt while we're waiting. Ugh. Bodabra. Move these because I don't want to break them. So we're doing beige, just a beige canvas. And we're doing this blue geometric pattern. Again, it's tying in the blues, but it's softening it up with the, I call it surf and sand colors. So we're just going to do a very simple bow, not anything over the top, because you don't want to compete with the florals. I think they speak loud enough. So forget me nots. Obviously, don't just mean don't forget me. They actually mean faithful love and memories. So if you ever wanted to throw that in, this wreath all kind of ties together. So I'm just gauging the length of my ties. So I will measure first. And then I always make Steve guess. Seven. Nope. Eight. Nope. Nine. Nine. Oh, okay. Nine. <laughs> so we're going to do a total of four loops for each color. And the loop size. One, two, three, four. I was right. I was like, that looks like four, four inch loops. So we're going to do two on each side of the same color. So when you're using, I like the Bodabra because I can whip them out pretty quick. It's, all going, it's always going to be about the twist. So you measure out your loops and when you have your bottom one already measured, you can put your fingers in both and pull while you're pulling in the opposite direction to make sure your loop lengths are the same. Because this canvas ribbon doesn't really have any right or wrong side, all I want to do is just make sure the twist is perfect for fluffing. And then we're going to do our 9 inch tail. And then this is done, just like so, set that there, and then we're going to come out with the blue. Canvas ribbon, the beige, you can buy it virtually anywhere. You can buy it at um, Hobby Lobby, but that particular one, I got in a ribbon bundle 
from the Reef Shop. Okay, we should do it right here. Same thing, nine inch tails. Because our tail ended here, we're starting on the opposite side. Um, the blue geometric shaped ribbon came from Burton and Burton. Again, it's another wholesaler. And yes, you have to hit a minimum order with them. And I think, I think their minimum was either 250 or 300. With who? Burton and Burton. Oh, Burton and Burton, yeah. Yeah. I think you said it was 250. Yeah, I think they wanted a lot more, but I was like, mm, it's just me. So, and yes, you have to be a wholesaler to order from them. And this was on sale ribbon. So I got 20 yards of this, and I want to say it was for like four bucks. So I was like, hmm, I'll buy it. I can use it for something. I certainly didn't plan on using it today but it worked out perfectly. Cause I had like four different other ribbons trying to figure out, okay, which one am I gonna use? It's that whole thing and delving into the tones of the color that make mm -hmm. ribbon choices hard. Sorry y'all, once again, I can't see all the comments. I do see one that says um, from Robin. Mm -hmm. This is funny cat, when I posted earlier that first logo from my store, uh -huh. right after that, she got another wreath order. Oh. Yay. I was learning about branding this week in my training and why logos are important. Anyway. And then Sheila Joyner says you were right about the Dollar Tree Betty Crocker scissors. Oh, they're the bomb, right? Yep. Okay. Oop. And I should have added to this. Darn it. Ooh. I can still go back in and pull one. I'm pulling all my raffia. I think that will do it. So let me try to make my little bow out of raffia. And then I will cut the ends and then I will stick it inside. Okay, that's not working out very well. So. Wow. Okay. Making sure we've got the same pieces all together. Here we go. Let's just make a loop. Go around. I don't want it overly big. This somewhat small. Something like that. And I'm going to cut off all this excess tails. If I can get rid of this. And I'm going to tuck this actually at the beginning of my bow. Mm -hmm. uh, Brenda, I think you commented um, you find the Betty Crocker scissors just up with all the rest of the... Go in the houseware section. The houseware section. It's up usually on the sidewall. They're only a dollar, so you can buy a couple of them. I buy like five. And then you're good for like the whole year yeah. and then some. Yep. So I'm actually adding this to the middle of my bow to kind of make it look a little rustic. You also she's excited about your trip to Shinoda tomorrow. Are you still going? <laughs> you know what's funny? That's an interesting thing. I'm hoping, but who, we don't know right now. We put the invitation out there and we didn't get, I think one person responded, but they didn't say if they're going or not. And for us, it's a really long trip to drive down. Okay. Yeah, it's at least an hour and 45 minutes just to get down there. And I'm looking for, there's my ribbon. I'm looking for the pipe cleaners to pop out the bottom. You trying to you turn it around? I will. Hold on. I will. I have to get it in there first. <laughs> One must get it in. Then I can tie it down. Just like so. OK. 
okay. Now we get to fluff like crazy. So we're gonna start with, and if we need to, we can cut the tails, but I'm gonna do these, do the browns first. And then we're gonna do our blues. like this. And I think I probably will cut some of my tails down just a smidge. Hi Brenda. Hey girls, just joining. Okay. And we're going to cut these down just a little bit so they're not so long. So these are probably winding up about seven inches. Jean said I came from Hobby Lobby and finally my her Dollar Tree store has all the July stuff out. Oh. So it's so very um, cute and she got her flag windsock she wanted. Awesome. We'll have to go over. We haven't been over to Dollar Tree in a while. We really have not. And we used to go quite a bit. Okay. So now I will show you what it looks like so far. Are you able to see that? Yep. Okay. What do you think so far? Everyone, yay? Mm -hmm. Nay? So now this is where we can come in a little bit. If you see any holes that you want to fill with anything, you can. I think I have these. These are getting added. Give it lots of likes, lots of loves. She also said, beautiful, I saw that one. Sierra <laughs> said, uh, smiley face with hearts. Okay. <laughs> so these are gonna go in and join the rest of the beige flowers. Because remember I told you I have to wait to put my bow in to finish my, my florals. Uh, Sheila saw your comment, she said, can you zoom in so I can see the bow better? Yeah, I will in a second. Oh. So, does that work? Yep. Okay. Good? Yep. Okay. So anything you want to add, now is the time to add it before you start to embellish anything. Tommy, I put in the comments above where the lighthouse was from. It's from Shinoda Design Center down in Santa Ana, California. But you can probably find something like it either at Etsy or Amazon or Craft Outlet or the Reef Shop. So I want to add one more piece. <laughs> I did see that. Gail said, Cat, pick me up tomorrow so I can go to Shinoda with you. No, because we'd both be in trouble. I already told you I was in trouble today. I went out looking for floral. She'll pick you up, Gail, if you fly out here. I swear. <laughs> That's the reason why God put us on the opposite coast, because he knew what trouble we would get into being on the same coast. They're like, got to keep those women apart. Their husbands will kill them. Okay. So now we're going to embellish. So florals, for me, are done. You could, if you wanted to, come back in and add pops of different colors. I might add, um, what should I call it? Add like one more of these right up here. The thing with the white tips. The thing we don't know what the name of it is. That thing. So, um, embellishments. We are adding sand dollars and starfish. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my sand dollars, which is just going to get glued to the top of, hold on, I have a plan. I remember, I just have to remember how I had them all set up. Oh, it was down a bit, because it sat this way. The starfish was on the bottom of the sand dollar? Yeah, but it, it gets pegged. Remember? And then it goes right here and it sits on top. No, the, the top starfish sat on top and the bottom 
sat on the bar. It was underneath the star, the sand dollar. <laughs> but thanks. He'll go back and look at the pictures. <clears throat> so we're going to. I'm going to add this guy. Put some glue. He has a short leg. He's like Nemo. So he's actually sitting. He sits. He sits sideways. This way. Gail Cross and I love it. Love the raffia. It really brings out the bow. Thank you. And then um, Robin said um, they would all fly out with Gail. Oh well. <laughs> I know we'd all get in trouble. Uh, we did see Sheila said, "Where'd you get your starfish and sand dollar from?" Ah, uh, the. That's a really good question. What about the starfishes from Coles? Coles, they came. Yeah, during summer last year, Coles had these things called vase fillers and scatters. They were just supposed to go, I guess, inside some glass bowl. So, um, starfish. Where did? But Joanne's has them. Michael's has them. No, but where did we get the sand dollars? I'll go look. My my bin is sitting over there with them in it. I think we got the sand dollars from Hobby Lobby. I don't know. The sand dollars came from coal. Oh, no. They came from... Let me think about the store. Joanne's. Joanne's they came in an oh. indigo mist box. Oh, so okay. it's like everything that you need for your decor. And that's where they came from. Peggy said, I got in trouble at AC Moore today. <laughs> Let's just say I saved $468. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. But if that's you got amazing. like 70 or 80% off, that's really good. So. But yeah. your husband had a heart attack. Right. Just kidding. I need this to sit. And it's funny, I should have. My glue gun is on low. Peggy, that's amazing. I think it doesn't want to sit because of the starfish. It will set up. Counterbalance. Key. Okay. This one's going to actually go. It's always so hard to come up with a perfect design because I hate seeing it's like seeing how people did it so it's like trying to hide all the you know like the pipe cleaner you're trying to blend the design in so well to where you're like oh how does she hook the lighthouse in there mm, pipe cleaner so um, while I'm waiting for that to set up I'm actually going to come in we're going to add our little brittle star He's going in here. Yes, Gail, I changed my design plan again because mm -hmm. I had it sitting someplace else. And then we're gonna add this giant scallop, which came in a bag. Let me think of where it was from. Hobby Lobby. You get six of them for like $4.99. And I don't think they ever go on sale. Mm -hmm. So. Robin, yes, you guys should do that. What's that? She replied to Gail and Peggy that they should go meet for lunch because they're all in the Jacksonville area. I know. See, if I was there, I'd be like, okay, we're going on a field trip. Yeah. <laughs> we're all going on a field trip. Peggy said, I told the cashier to let me close my eyes before she hit the total button. <laughs> but what did they do? They probably went, but you saved 468 Must have been a really good sale. It must have been. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. So I'm just adding a bead of glue around my starfish, or not starfish, my scallop. Mm -hmm. Claire, I did see that comment. Uh, she got the lighthouse from a local um, wholesaler. wholesaler down here in, in Southern California called Shinoda Design Center. Yeah, it was but, like $15, I think, is what the lighthouse cost was. I thought it was 20 19 something. Mm -mm. No. I pulled the sticker off. 
So I like had to do my math and calculate. Trust me, the florals alone on this are what really drives the price up. You guys know florals aren't to get a good looking quality wreath. You have to spend the money on your florals. Okay, those are setting up. Yay, they're drying good. Okay. So this is actually gonna sit on a big giant leaf. So I'm gonna add my big giant glue so it'll adhere to the leaf that it's gonna sit on. And I find that if you use Gorilla Glue, um, Jason, I hope it you had your nice. coupon for triple points. <laughs> for what? For AC more. Oh. See, we don't have those places out here. In California, you cannot use double or triple points. We can't use anything. Nope. There is like no savings out here. You don't want to come to California. Our gas prices right now are like four fifty a gallon. Four twenty to four fifty. Yeah. yeah, which is just not going to be fun. So. Okay. So, I'm like trying to make sure that everything is glued before I pick it up and show ya. Those are going to go over there. Okay. Fingers crossed. Nothing slides off. There you go. Yep. You lean it up more, hopefully. There you go. Okay. Okay. But I'm not hanging on the door anyway. <laughs> okay. So I'll take this one off and then you guys can see this one. But I'll just this one right here. Okay. Let me put this on the door. Everything is staying. Okay. Ta da! That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. What do you guys think? It's supposed to be a nautical floral. And if you look up lighthouse grapevines, there's two. So mm -hmm. that's why I decided to go with a grapevine. And none of them look like that either. It's like someone went floral all the way around like pink and peach floral, and then they put a lighthouse in the middle, which is really short. Um, but that's my take of beachy lighthouse slash, I don't know what you'd call it. <clears throat> it's not nautical. It's, it's just so a beachy. beach house, beach, yeah. great thing. Yep. Right, um, uh, yeah, she used um, a staple gun and stapled pipe cleaners <laughs> to the back and the bottom. Of the lighthouse? Yeah, to the back on top for one, and then on the bottom yeah. she attached to the bottom. I can take all of our and show you. Actually, no, I can't. Hold on. Let me take this side. So, this is this one. So, this is for summer. So, for you people who have pools, we don't have pools because we have a really small backyard. Um, this one just says the pool is open. So, this would look super cute out by the pool wherever you have a pool, or if you have a swim coach, that would be a really good gift for a swim coach. So it's all turquoise, blues, corals, and whites. Mm -hmm. so. Kind of, yeah, the, the lighthouse one, it would be a great Cape Cod. Oh yeah. For a great house, Cape Cod Or just Cod house. anyone who's a beach lover, like for us, our entire master bedroom and bath is all beach. Mm -hmm. So looking at the one that I have up, I was like, um, I'm probably gonna make another one like this and put it up over ours. What do you guys think of the orange starfish? Because it really, it doesn't seem like it would work, but it really makes it pop. I had so many people tell me beforehand, I actually had light blue ones, and I was like, here's the picture with light blue, here's the picture with the orange, which looked better, and everybody came back with the orange, orange, orange. So I was like, okay, we're doing orange. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. And that's why we did it. So it's just a soft little nautical thing. So, mm -hmm. okay. What questions do you guys have that I can answer for you? That Steve can hopefully find your comments? Yeah, I think somebody asked what was that, what was in the center of the other pool? It's a little birdhouse, but it looks like a little changing. It, yeah, it's it a little. It looks like a little changing it's a birdhouse. room. Yeah, it's a little birdhouse. But it's got like a little net on it. Mm -hmm. And starfish, or not starfish, but a seashell. Yep. But that's it. It was just a super cute birdhouse that we had, and we just tucked it in there. Oh, it has little fish on it too. I think I made that one, huh? Uh, yes, I believe so. 
So yes, it's the little fishing shack kind of thing. It has little fish on it. Yeah. So it just kind of tied the whole thing in together. Okay. So again, any questions I can answer for you before I let you go and have an incredible weekend. Uh, private group Sunday uh, at five. We are doing, this means Kat has to go back out to the store because she used to grape buying for Sunday's wreath. So we're going back out. Um, we're doing the patriotic Americana grapevine. So we're going to be taking this and using this on our grapevine. So it's going to be a short, sweet, um, simple design, but that's pretty much it. And then I'll send the schedule out on Sunday for what we're doing for the following week. Remember next Sunday, ladies, is Mother's Day. So we won't be doing a Sunday class but um, we're gonna do something in between um, and do a quick business class. So we're gonna cover copywriting, branding, logos, and that's pretty much it. Audrey said, outstanding. Thank you for showing us another idea. Absolutely. Uh, Peg said, I love the pool wreath. It's available on our Etsy shop. It is. Um, what would you price the one. lighthouse out? The lighthouse? Yeah. $90. Here's why. The florals that's all I can say florals um, mm -hmm. so yeah even when I was doing the math I was like oh please let me just stop adding can I find a way to kind of like cut back on the florals and only use half and the answer is no and not get a good quality look out of it so um, other ones priced on Etsy right now or there's only two 170 and 175 so mm -hmm. I'm kind of in that ballpark but I added much more stuff. Okay, anything else? Nope. Covered that, if you're interested in my private group, you can read all about it on my website. Just go to Cats Creations, the letter N, more.com. Scroll past all the products and get past the little slideshow video and you'll see it, Cats Creations private group. You can read about all the features and benefits and you can also sign up if you're mm -hmm. interested. And normally we go Sundays at five, except for next Sunday because that's Mother's Day, and I want you guys to enjoy your family. I think Janet asked a decent question. She said, do you teach fundraising? That's interesting. Fundraising? Yeah. I don't think you do. Like, if you were to donate a wreath for fundraising. Oh, the only thing you need to really be concerned about with fundraising is, A, you can take it as a huge tax write-off, uh, but you want to be cautious when people... Uh, contact you and ask you, hey, would you be willing to make a wreath and donate it, or would you donate that wreath to a fundraiser? Have them send you all the information about the fundraiser. It yeah. should come on some sort of company letterhead so that you can make sure it's a legit thing. They yeah. should have all the advertisement for that fundraiser just so that you're not sending somebody a free wreath just because they say, oh, can you send that wreath to Cat and Steve's fundraiser this weekend? We'd be happy to auction that off. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you're just you're Maybe. dealing with a legit company. Yep. Yeah. And I've had that happen before. People will contact you via Etsy and say, we're doing a huge fundraiser. Would you like to donate one of your wreaths? Or can we go through and pick them out? And it was, send me all your information about the fundraiser. And then when you ask for that, there's no more communication. So... Yep. Just be on the up and up and be careful. Okay. Well, everyone have a great weekend. Private group, I'll see you on Sunday. Everyone else. Ooh. Yeah. I'll send out the schedule on um, Sunday so you guys know what all is happening for next week. So it should be really super fun. You won't want to miss next Friday either because I just went and got a whole bunch of stuff for that. It's all sitting right there. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.